Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at the new 3-star Electra Assassin. She's essentially the same build as the 4-star Electra. In fact, two of her powers are pretty much the exact same, just kind of toned down a little bit. And her fourth power is more or less similar to the uh, last power that she has. So we'll go ahead and uh, take her first spin in the her event. It's called Assassin for Hire. And this looks like a good fight. We'll go against Deken. Deken throws out strike tiles and that's something that you want to look for when you use Electra to fight because one of her powers is all about stealing tiles. True, she can generate tiles of her own to steal, but it's nice to have enemies that just kind of do that for you too. So We'll go with our usual guy, and I don't know, let's just go with uh, Loot Cage over here. Okay, so the Electra and the Decan are pretty non-threatening, we'll probably just spend our time pummeling this Thanos over here, but Electra's powers are double double cross. This one's the same as her four star version. And um, basically, what she does is she steals two enemy strike tiles and creates three strike tiles for the enemy. The strike tiles are just really, really weak. Um, I think these are, she's only like one cover, I think, in this event. So at three, I think she steals like two and um, she always makes three for the enemy. I think the only thing that changes as the power gets higher in covers is I think she steals an extra one. So she'll steal two ultimately and um, the damage will just increase. So right now she's pretty weak. Um, Shadow Step, this is the second power that she has. That's the same. This is actually kind of a cool power. Um, for 10 black, what she'll do is create a certain number of, of trap tiles. Uh, the 4 star version, I believe at 3 covers creates 3, and at 5 covers creates 5, which is really good because she can take kind of a lot of hits. And, you know, if you get a bunch of shadow steps, that's one of the nice things about having Electra. She can just take like a ton of punishment for your team. And not even, you know, lose any HP. So this is kind of like it. Um, she, at, I guess, I'm going to say this is one cover, converts two basic tiles to trap tiles. So she can take two hits, unless those trap tiles get, gets resolved and, uh, or matched. And um, then she can take however many trap tiles are left on the board. I believe for the three-star version, it goes up to four. The one thing that's different is that the amount of damage that the 4-star Electra deals is kind of less than the damage that the 3-star Electra deals. So it's a little bit of a trade-off. I honestly think the extra trap tiles are kind of more valuable. But it's actually a pretty cool power to have. Her last power, Crippling Blow. This one's the new one that's still kind of similar to the 4-star version. The 4-star version is Valley of Death. What that does is creates a trap tile, and until that trap tile is solved or matched, the uh, she'll keep dealing a certain amount of damage, plus she also steals AP. So I think at... Uh, I think uh, two covers is probably like a red and black, and then, you know, three cover or five covers is uh, red, black and uh, purple. So this one, she deals a uh, 1229 damage, so a, a pretty decent hit for this level. And then she creates a countdown tile that deals a little bit of damage each turn. So she loses the indefinite attack, but she gains uh, a big hit in the beginning, and she loses the ability to steal the AP. So I would say that the three star Electra is kind of a watered down version of the four star Electra. And. Oops, oops. It's okay, but 
I think it would have been nice to see maybe a different build. I don't know if, uh, the four-star Electra's powers are just so cool that they needed to make a three-star version of her. I, I mean, I obviously know this is because of the Defenders, and they're trying to put out, you know, a new character to promote the show, obviously. And, you know, you can take a look from the model that, I guess, it kind of looks like the, uh, Elodie Young from... The show. I could be wrong about that, though. They did use the same... I would say... Art from the 4-star Electra. And it looks like they just kind of threw her new clothes. So... I don't know exactly what to make about that. I mean, they've done that a ton with Wolverine. Pretty much any character that has more, multiple versions. They'll use the uh, first art that they created for it and then just kind of give them new clothes so not surprising that they do it here let's see well we keep on destroying their uh, strike tiles so we'll go ahead and do crippling blow let's see if there's any kind of new animation or something that actually looks for the most part as I can recall the same as Electra's no, actually, Valley of Death has her, like, kind of doing these weird dance moves all around the screen. So, yeah, it's a little bit different. I think that might be the last screen of uh, Valley of Death, though, or the last uh, image or pose that she does. All right, so she's just going to do that every time. All right, so we have enough for... Double double cross. So we'll go ahead and kick that off. Yeah, that's the same animation for double double cross for the uh, four star Electra. So she stole one tile. She boosts the uh, attack damage that it does. And then she creates all these weak little enemy strike tiles. So the, the point of that is. If your enemy doesn't create strike tiles, there will be strike tiles that you can create on the board so that the power isn't just totally useless in a fight, which is kind of nice. Oh, and there goes our uh, crippling blow. All right, we'll see if we can get some black and get... Uh, shadow step but I don't think there's any tiles that she actually owns so she'll never take any damage so we'll never see it so honestly at a 145 that's gonna be a tall order anyways you'd have to build a uh, team oh, okay cuz he has that on the board. Let's get rid of this. Okay. I should be able to do it. Okay, and that's the same animation from the four star shadow step. We can use hero for hire and fortify these guys. Why not? Now we just spend our time beating down this Thanos. It, it never surprises me, or it never fails to surprise me. Like, I keep seeing these super powerful Thanoses, and, I mean, his HP just is through the roof. Like, 70,000 is, like, so much. But he doesn't really actually have, like, any abilities. So as long as none of your characters die, you should be pretty okay. All right. So, unfortunately, we won't be able to see Electra's retaliation in Shadow Step because she can't get hit unless 
Yeah, there's nobody who has an ability that can hit her. Unless one of these characters dies. One of my characters dies and court death happens, but... I don't know if this Thanos, I might kill her. Yeah, I had to kill her. So, nope, not happening. Here, let's kick off another crippling blow, just to have some fun. So... If you're playing her, I would probably pair her with someone who throws out strike tiles. Having that definitely helps because if you get crippling blowout, then those hits that uh, it delivers each turn will just get buffed by the strike tiles. So that kind of helps, and um, having her be strong and getting a bunch of black and then just throwing down a shadow step is always cool. So if you wanted to use Electra as your main character in your three star fight, that's probably something that I would look to do. And characters that I would look to pairing her with. Uh, it's too bad that, you know, the demo version only has one cover and is at level 145. Well, I guess 145 is pretty high, but we don't really get to see a great example of what she can do and she's a bit stronger. Just from experience with my uh, champion 4-star Electra. She's not really that strong at high levels. That's one of the reasons why I don't use her very much. I like her abilities. I like Valley of Death, how it steals AP, and how it just runs forever. Not this version, but the 4-star version. But the fact is, it just doesn't do a lot of damage, so... It doesn't really pay to have her in... ...fights. Shadow Step is really good, though, because regardless of, uh, you know, how, how difficult or easy your enemy is or whatever, if, uh, you throw that down, and then, you know, your enemy, uh, casts, like, a big power, something like Optic Blast, or, um, I'm trying to think of, a. Uh, a power that does a lot of damage, but only hits one enemy. If you can gear that towards her, she'll absorb the whole thing, not take any damage, and actually deal damage back, so that's nice. So, just for the hell of it, we'll throw out another Shadow Step. Yeah, I think the Crippling Blow not being a Trap Tile also takes away from how dangerous she is. Just because you can identify the crippling blow tile since it's a countdown now, and then just uh, match it away. So that was one of the nice things about the four star Electra was that pretty much, you know, her shadow step and her valley of death, if they got cast, you'd have to guess where it is on the board. Which made her a little bit more dangerous than this 3-star version. Alright. Oh, she cast a Shadow Step. Good for her. There we go. Okay. So that's the 3-star Electra. Basically a watered-down version of the 4-star Electra. Basically a character they probably just created in 5 minutes since they needed to come up with something for the Defenders and didn't want to come out with Jessica Jones. So... 
Yeah, not really much to say. I mean, if you wanted an Electra and you just didn't have a four-star one, here's your Electra. So, anyways, let me know what you guys think. Maybe I'm missing out. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.